Another nice chapter here that looks at moving toward zero waste cities and how it connects to campuses. Well, a nexus for international zero waste academic collaboration, NISAC is the acronym there, a nexus for international zero waste academic collaboration. Always nice if academics can network together and help cities go zero waste, right? Waste is one of the most challenging and complex problems confronting human communities today. Studies indicate that significant improvement in global waste management systems is needed in order to avert, worsen, avert a worsening public and environmental health emergency. This also applies to waste water treatment, recycling water, circular economy of the water, solid waste treatment, avoiding water pollution, groundwater pollution, soil pollution, and so on and so forth. The global zero waste movement exists within the spectrum of contemporary reaction and response to the growing sense of crisis and urgency around waste issues. The theory of zero waste reconceptual the theory of zero waste reconceptualizes waste as a resource which must be conserved, used efficiently and cycled back into the economic system. Reminds you of Herman Daly who said we have to use renewable things at a rate lower than at which they get renewed. We have to find ways to recreate things that are not renewable and that we are using irreversibly to make sure that we are not unsustainable. And we have to pollute things at a rate where the pollution actually gets resolved somehow actively by us or by nature. In the long run, you can imagine that all the water we are using and re releasing back into the system in various forms after treatment, etc. Our geologic times gets recycled back into groundwater that we keep mining for our use. So there is a long-term cycle, but we are moving so fast that we need this to happen at a much faster time scale to be sustainable. So that's the reconceptualization of waste as a resource that must be conserved, used efficiently, and cycled back into the economic system. Again, thinking about the economic system for recycling may seem contradictory, exploitative, extractive, rather than conservative, regenerative, but to the extent that humanity runs on economic systems, it's the idea of making the economic system itself a circulatory system so that things come in, get used, and go back into the system, right? Zero Waste seeks to assertively redirect the focus of society's innovation, investment, education, uh, research and development and government, businesses and community policies and programs away from value-destroying burn-berry disposal practices, which is mostly what we are doing. So we just dump it into landfills or we burn them. In this sense, zero waste is a strategically controversial uh, Sorry, in this sense, zero waste is strategically controversial in challenging society's dysfunctional and wasteful status quo, as well as the vested interests which promulgate and profit from having a uh, waste disposal system that is not complete net zero. If you go to net zero waste, then you need a new kind of industry that manages the end-of-life net zero system which requires a lot of retraining a lot of new business models and you know there are many places where waste collection and disposal are big operations run by very strong vested interests everybody calls it a mafia but anyway the international zero waste man uh, movement demonstrates alternative approaches which have a positive track record of cost effectively addressing waste issues and supporting the innovation required to transition towards a circulator, circular economy and more sustainable forms of development. Correct word is circular economy and not circulatory as I said before. Circulatory is where the bus is going round and round. Emerging case studies from within industry, community and city context, contexts 
demonstrate that zero waste approaches are framed in a continuum of learning and evolution and can be successful, scientific and measurable. A good economic involve investment, socially and culturally beneficial and democratically popular. People love this. However, it's also recognized that these pos positive indicators are just the precursor of the level of transformational leadership and innovation which is required in future across in the future across spheres such as policy, program, technology, education, research and product design in order to realize the future zero waste city concept. <coughs> City is mentioned here, but eventually you want even rural areas to be zero waste. Recognizing the phenomenon and positive challenge of zero waste, a cluster of universities and organizations are seeking to catalyze a nexus for international zero waste academic collaboration or NISAC. Uh, the core objective of NISAC is to facilitate education and research to drive progress towards future zero waste cities which are critical to realizing the concept of a circular global economy and to addressing the interrelated challenges of climate change and sustainable development. Of course, one key issue is here, see if academia itself can also implement zero waste and then uh, innovate around that including expertise uh, developments curricula for uh, you know the talent that is required to do this at a larger scale at a global scale a key strand in the discussion and experience informing the development of the NISAC is the opportunity of living labs research theory and practice to support the co-generation of innovation in a university and host city community so that university begins to do zero waste on campus and with the city around it where it's located so this paper seeks to provide an overview of relevant research theory, the background experience of project partners, the formative consultation and collaboration process and outcomes to date in exploring the proposed nexus for international zero academic waste. Uh, sorry, zero academic, zero waste, uh, nexus for international zero waste academic collaboration, NISAC. Again, the text has a lot of details, a lot of words. I didn't want to read all of it. I couldn't easily summarize it, so I'm going to just leave it with the abstract, which is fairly self-explanatory anyways. And you should definitely follow up if that is part of your uh, interest or you want to uh, go after making your campus a part of this NISAC international uh, collaboration. Okay, we'll come back and look at re uh, regional circular economies in greening the university canteen as the sustainability innovation lab component. So living lab, sustainability lab, all these words we are using so you should definitely get familiar with the concepts and why they are critical and uh, practical approaches to completing the training and education of the students that come out to manage the world in a net zero and sustainable fashion, okay?